audience that, that uh, Moses was talking to? Israel. Now, hold on, no, 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 no. But we don't know anything. Of course, uh, you can't know. It's, it's impossible for you to get that through your head. You know why? Your ancestors came in right in Charleston, South Carolina right. on slave boats. Right. right. And you're afraid to admit that her ancestors did that to you? This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men that stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this truth. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready. We're coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Hey. Israel, united in Christ, is a non violent, Bible based movement. Are you I see? First, give me another Amos chapter 3, verse 2. Because the brother just asked, she just asked uh, the soldier, why don't we, why are we talking to her? Are we just dealing with it? Because she is it because she's white? That was your question, right? Yeah. You asked the brother, why is it, why, why are you not dealing with it? Because I'm white? I think I heard no, that. That was actually not my question. Like, I said, Stephanie, did you ask you? Alright, we're gonna show you. We're gonna show you. Give me the give me that in Revelations. No, that wasn't her first, question. First give, me, first give me Acts 5. That wasn't her question. Her original question was, what's the way to salvation? Okay. And then he ignored her and then she wanted to know well, why. Yeah, yeah, so, let me, let me, let me, let me can, I, can I explain something? Mm -hmm. We do all things in order. Give me that first. All, in order. We do all things in order. We don't 14, just jump 14, around. 14, or, 14, so, 14, I'm going to ask. Okay, let me, let me read this. We'll do it in order, so you can so get your understanding. Are you going in? What are you about to get to? I'm, I'm going to read you the Bible. Watch this. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 40. Let, up. Let all things be done decently and in order. So we made an order. So we're going to answer your first question. Not three questions at once. Answer, ask one question at a time. Okay, so what's, your, what's the first question you're going to answer? Whatever your first question is. What is the way of salvation? Give me uh, first we in Acts chapter 5, 31. Because the way, to, the way to salvation is only for a particular group of people. It's for a particular group. Now, I see, shake your head, but when you read the Bible, I, I got a Bible question. Every day. Who, all right, who is the audience of the Bible? The audience of the Bible is the people that, yeah, anyone that has a Bible. That is, is that in the Bible, though? <laughs> no, brother, we're dealing with these sisters right here. Who is the audience of the Bible? The whole Bible. So, so from the. We want to hear yours. So okay. You go ahead. I'm gonna show you who the audience is because okay. you, in, in order for you to establish, in order for you, you can't talk and get an answer at the same time. In order for you to establish who salvation is for, you gotta know who the audience of the Bible is. Right. Is what is salvation? Who is it for? First, give me Deuteronomy one and one. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say one word. Yeah. Yeah. Say one word. You changed the question. No, brother, we're dealing with that. Read that. Deuteronomy this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who was Moses speaking to? Israel. Who? Israel. Okay, now give me that in Luke. Give me, give me that in Luke, chapter 1, because this whole Bible is about the Israelites. That's about right. The people who fell out of, out, of, out of the grace of the Most High were sent into captivity. The Lord our Savior, Jesus Christ, had to come back to redeem them, which is what we're going to read right now. Right. It's in Luke. It's the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Right out. Right out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Who was the audience that, that uh, Moses was talking to? Israel. Oh, now, hold on, no, 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 no. Who? I ain't taking nothing out. Of, I ain't taking nothing out of context. Did you hear what I just read? May I? 
Hold this and let hold this. Question, go back to Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you why people get upset with questions. the Bible. I'm going to show you why people get upset. Because your salvation has been hidden from you in this Bible. Bring it up. You've been told that you're black, but your shirt is black. You've been told, you've been told that you're an African American. But that's a so-called white man named Leo Scipio Africanus. Right. You've been told these things, it's never been explained to you. So now I'm about to tell you who salvation is for and show you that you're an Israelite. Now there's a problem. Go back to Deuteronomy, read it again. Who is Moses talking to after he led them out of Egypt? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter one, verse one. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Moses is talking to the children of Israel right. whom he just led out of Egypt. Right. He just brought them out of Egypt. He's talking, wait a minute, I'm explaining it. This is what people do when they don't want to hear. Moses brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. Now, let's go to Luke chapter one and read this. When, when, after I finish explaining, read. The book of Luke. Chapter 1, verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The same people that Moses brought out of Egypt, that's who Christ is talking to too. That's Read right. it again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You are not black. Black is just a color. You are an Israelite, probably from the tribe of Judah, because your ancestors came here on a slave ship that was prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Right up, Blessed right. be the Lord God of your people, Israel. Read. For he has visited. When did he visit us? When he sent Christ. He sent Christ to the earth. For he has visited. And redeemed. And redeemed what? His people. No, all people. His people. It said that Christ came to redeem his people. People, right. not all people. Read. And have raised up a horn of salvation. A what? A horn of salvation. So who is the horn of salvation? Who is the horn of salvation? Bring it out. Jesus Christ. Did you miss it? Read it again. And have raised up a horn of salvation. Go back to the previous verse. Read it again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, uh -huh. for he has visited and redeemed his people. Who is his people? The Israelites. Correct? That's right. And has raised up in horn of salvation. That horn of salvation is Jesus Christ. For us. For who? For us. You see how this is very possessive. So if I said, if I said, sis, that's, that's your phone, right? Yeah, I got it. That's your phone. So it's not my phone. We have two for you. Two, two. I'm two. not talking to you, bro. You because you trying to dis, you trying to put the spirit away. No, so, ain't no spirit away. You trying to put I, the spirit I, I, away. I got two. That's you your phone. That ain't our you. phone, is it? Is it? No, it's not. So you see this brother right here in this white shirt right here. Is he your people? What you mean you don't know? Look at him. You, I, I don't know him. You but so is he your people? So no other, you can't look out, look at these sisters, the brother and sister across the street. I don't know them, but I know they're my people. Yeah, right. Yeah. I do know they're my people. They look like me. They they walk like me. They talk like me. They're my people. That's right. Right. Here's, 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 here's what society has done. It has made you not want to accept the fact that you have to decide on whose side you're gonna be on. Right. So look, let's look at this picture right here. Watch this. Is this the same? Uh, you see this right here? Mm -hmm. Are these the same people? Those are two pictures. Those are I, 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 that's beyond the point. No, that are is these? The point. All right, watch this. Are right, they, these pictures? Do yeah. these? Do these pictures depict the same people? Yeah. Since you want to play with words, you want to play with words. We we good with that. After, let me ask you. You ain't even a part of this conversation. Do these two pictures depict two kinsmen of the same people? These two pictures. No, tell me why. I'm going to show you because I said the Bible said turn on the screen. Can I you started shaking question, your head. Please? Read this. I just, I'm going to put this in Chapter 58, verse 1. Bring Listen up. Cry aloud. What did God say do? Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Don't spare nobody's feelings. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. It says to lift up your voice like a trumpet. Come on. And show my people their transgression. Uh -huh. And the house of Jacob their sin. So she said, can we read the verse before that? That was verse what? One. That is, that re you can't read the verse before that. You know why? That's verse one. That's verse one. Now, let's go back to salvation. I just asked that for context. Okay, let's go back to salvation. 
Now that we know. No, we don't know anything. Of course, oh, you can't know. It's, it's impossible for you to get that through your head. You know why? Because here is here, here is what happened. Bring it out. Because of this right here, hold us up. Because of this right here, everybody want y'all are afraid to accept the fact that these people did this I to did your not people. Do that. I, was I not said these lie. people. Now you you gonna run now. Of course you're gonna run now. You are afraid to accept the fact. Listen, you're afraid to accept the fact that this is in the Bible. This is in the Bible that they would do this to your people. Right. But you've never heard that. They laughing. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. Yeah, read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Come on out. Prepare slaughter huh? for his children. God says prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. Read on. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. See, y'all sisters, y'all sisters, y'all think y'all know something. But the fact is, the fact, here's the facts. Hold the sign up. Here's the facts. I'm gonna show you the facts. The facts is, your ancestors went into slavery. Right. Were they your people? Were the ancestors that came to this country your people? Y'all afraid to say yes? Right. Are you afraid to say that your ancestors came on a slave ship? Bring it out! Your ancestors came here right in Charleston, South Carolina right. on slave boats. Right. right. And you're afraid to admit that her ancestors did that to you? It's recorded. I ain't say you did it per se. I said your forefathers. But you reap the benefits of what they did. Right. You right. live the luxury life in America that was built up their ancestors no, back. I don't, I, I don't have to know you. I know your ancestors. Bring it out. I know you. Just like I know their ancestors. Right. I know that's my brother and my sister. My right. The they fact is, people. your forefathers committed this atrocity on our people. Right. Right. And your forefathers and you will pay for the atrocities oh, done to our people. Right. Right. That's what's recorded in the Bible. Yeah. Now, that might be a hard pill to swallow, but you're going to have to swallow it just like we had to swallow this. Right. Right. We had to swallow this. Right. We had to whip, get our back that whipped day in and day out. Bro. Right. You look like you got some sense. You look like you got, you like you got some knowledge. Jesus said, Let me I ask am you a the question. way, the truth, and the life. You're is saying it right? Abraham is it right saved. for and their forefathers, for them, to, him to, to pay for what they did? And yeah. he was the founder is it right? of all the nations, and he was not an Israelite. Yeah, right. You think it's, you think they should? Does the Bible say it's right? Bring it out. Does God say if it's right for them to pay for what they did? Bring it out. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 14. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. I want you to hear this. We ain't, we ain't making nothing up. I, I want to start at uh, 1. Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Listen to this. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob went into slavery. Our, our whole nation has been destroyed. Right. We've been put into captivity, and now we don't know our names. Right. I say, bro, what's your nationality? Black. Bro, you're not black. My boot's black. Right. You're not African-American. That is a white man. Right. That is two white men. Leo Scipio Africanus and Americo Vespucci. Right. That's not who you are. Read. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. But God gonna have mercy on you because your nationality was taken. Come on. And will yet choose Israel. He's yet gonna choose Israel, the Israelites. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, he's yet gonna choose you. Yes, he allowed all of this to happen to you, but he's still gonna choose you. Read. And set them in their own land. Come on. And the strangers shall be joined with them. All the strangers is that white lady that just left from up here. Bring it out. The stranger, they're going to be joined with her. When that sky crack and they see a black man come to redeem his people, oh, they're going to want to be with you then. Right. They're going to accept all the atrocities that they did and they're going to apologize for everything that they did in that day. Right. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to us. Come on. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So we're going to take them and bring them to our place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Now, they possessed us during this time, right? When this happens, we're going to possess them, read. In the land of the Lord, uh -huh. for servants uh -huh. and handmaids. Were we not servants and handmaids? Were we servants and handmaids? Bring it out. Yes, we were servants and handmaids right here in this country. Right. All over the earth, we've been servants and handmaids. Right. Guess what, in this day, they gonna be servants and handmaids too. Tell me you don't want to serve. You don't, you don't want no servant.
got a job? Where you work at? Right down the street. Right down the street. You serve out there, don't you? Right. Nah, I'm cook. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. cook. You don't want. You, you, you don't. So, you serve. Uh, I'm a, I believe in this stuff, bro. I'm an Israelite. I don't know what tribe, though. I'm definitely okay. Israelite. We're going to try to do We're going to definitely. We're going to. We're going to. Not the 12 tribes. Not the 12 tribes of Israel. 12, 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely right. going to deal with you. We're going to help yeah. you figure out what tribe you're from. But the whole point, the, the whole point of what we're saying is that devil was here to run our people off. Right. She did a good job because our people are afraid to admit about any truth around the so-called white man. Right. right. They're afraid to talk about their ancestors and how they was put into captivity yeah, right. when the so-called white man show up. You know what that means? They come out of seer. They, 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 they locked. They locked in with this with this society. Right. Them satellites. Anytime. Anytime you start talking about the redemption of black people. The salvation that's gonna come for us, yeah. some of us can't unlock and break away from what has been put in our brain. Right. Yeah. We gotta learn to break the chains. Come right. The Bible is the only thing that can do that. Right. The Bible is the only thing that can do that. Give me Psalm 19 right. to 7. You're right, you're right. Put that, you put that down. Okay, you can't be ashamed to admit the fact that our ancestors were slaves. And now you're learning, now you're learning that it was recorded in the Bible. And that salvation is for you. When them bombs get to flying, who gonna save you? Right. If it ain't Christ, who gonna save you? He right, he right. If it ain't God, who gonna save you? Nobody. If this is the condition that black people gotta live in for eternity, we're doomed, bro. Right. If this is, if we gotta continuously serve, be on the bottom, be shot down in the streets, be the last hired, the first fight, we are doomed as a people. That's we will, right. We will never rule anything again. Right. right. But rulership belongs to you. Right. 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 You gotta claim it. You gotta take back that that was right. taken from you. Right. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Bring it up. The law of the Lord is perfect. The Bible says the laws of God is perfect, bro. They perfect. We're the one that turned out our faces away from the laws of God. We turned away from that. It says the laws of God is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. The only thing that converts the soul that can convert your soul. Can change a man from being evil to righteousness. That'll change a man from doing all type of wickedness in the world to following after the commandments of God. Right. Only the laws of God can do that. Right. But if we never come out of that out of that mentality, we're gonna stay simple as hell. Right. We gotta understand that the kingdom of heaven is ours. Right. Rulership is ours. That we are, give me the, uh, give me that in Peter, uh, the pre priesthood. You gotta understand your true lineage and what you're put on this earth to do. You're not putting a damn, uh, to walk the earth, you know what I'm saying, for 50, 60 years and, and get a good job and go uh, uh, vacation in some of the nice places. That's not what you put it for. You came here to serve captivity, y'all, boy. Right. First, first, get, get that first Peter. Then you go back. Get out of room. You came here to serve captivity. Right. We are in this land because of sin. Sin right. put us here. That's right. Our forefathers and foremothers fell from the keeping of God's commandments, and now here we are. You know what I mean? The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it up. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Them sisters right there don't want to accept that. They think they free. That's why they go stand by the by the precious little white woman. Oh my God, I can't believe they're talking like that. That's not in the Bible. I read my Bible every day. What did God say? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. You might have you a good job. You might work at one of the elite places here in Columbia. You might got you a nice car. You might got you uh, 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 some, 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 some good jewelry. The final things in life that most people ain't got. But God says, what? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. You gotta pay bills for all that. You are yet this day in your captivity. Read. When thou hast scattered us. God has scattered us for a reproach uh -huh. and a curse and to be subject to payments. You're subject to payments. When you in rulership, you ain't subject to payments. You know why? Tell me why. When we're in rulership, I can't answer. When we're in rulership, we're not subject to payments. Right. Why? Because we rule. Right. right. We ruling. When we're ruling, we ain't paying taxes. Right. When we're ruling, we ain't gotta work these old nasty, defiled jobs that they give us. Right. We ain't gotta do that. You know who's gonna do it? Back to Isaiah 14. I mean, right. 
It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Bring it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. God will have mercy on us. And will yet choose Israel. And when he sends his son back to come and redeem us, it ain't going to be all nations getting redeemed. It's only going to be one people getting redeemed. One. One nation of people. Peace. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who keep the law, statutes, and commandments of God. That's right. right. You're not going to be redeemed because you say, oh, I know I'm an Israelite, so... Our, our, our forefathers and mothers knew they were Israelites. Right. They knew they were Israelites when they fell away. Right. right. When they stopped keeping God's laws, they knew they were Israelites. Right. It landed them in captivity. Christ is coming to redeem us who are keeping the commandments and keeping the faith. Read. Right. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Read on. And the strangers shall what? The strangers. The strangers shall be joined with them. They're gonna join with us. Cause they're gonna be like, oh snap! Christ is black. And these are his people. That's right. Can I go with y'all? Can, can I be a part of what y'all what was about to happen with y'all? Oh, you coming. Yeah, you definitely coming. But you ain't gonna be in the position that you think you're gonna be in. Right. Read. And they shall cleave to the house they of Jacob. Cleave to us, read. And the people shall take them. And we're gonna take them and bring them to their place. We're gonna bring them to your place that you're gonna be. No longer will you sit in that place over above all nations that you sat for hundreds of years, for thousands of years, you've been over the nations. No longer will you sit in that high place. We will put you in your place right. when we bring you to our land. That's right. right. And the house of Israel shall possess them. We're going to possess them just like they possessed us, read. In the land of the Lord. In the land of our God, Israel. Come on. For servants. For what? For servants. So you ain't got to worry about that bum job you got right now. Because in that day, when you repent and start keeping the commandments of God, you're going to get servants. Right. Just don't come just because you hear this word today. This ain't gonna come just because you get this understanding today standing in front of the prophets. You know how this gonna come? Activate, right? Right. You gotta activate on the word of God that you hear. Give me uh give me that uh heroes of the word. You gotta be become activated. Most people that hear this word, they just gonna keep on walking, man. They ain't gonna pay us no attention. You know why? Because the Lord got it designed like that. You see everybody disappear. Why are you still standing here? Something is something is sparking your spirit. It ain't me. It damn sure ain't me. All we're doing is reading the words of God. You got it? Right. Yeah. Read this. So book of James, chapter 1, verse 22. Bring it up. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. What'd he say? But be ye doers of the word. You gotta become a doer of the word. Right. That's how you activate. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity.